How do you increase your revenue without doing any extra work? Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you the one specific revenue that you must add into your business to give your customers an even better experience and at the same time, drive even more revenue into your business. And all you have to do is just a few core steps. YouTube community, if you watch until the end of this video, I'll be giving you a specific step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to implement this Ascension Revenue Pillar into your business to be able to take your business to the next level without doing a lot of extra work. But first thing I want you to do is I want you to comment below and let me know how do you think the Ascension Revenue Pillar works or what questions or insights do you have on how to skyrocket your revenue online? Comment below and let me know and make sure you are subscribed to this YouTube channel so you get future updates on videos that are released just like this on how to grow your business online. So let's get into it. Now just to share with you the power of building the Ascension revenue into your business, the first thing that I always do with any client that I start working with, and this is one of the experiences that a client had, when I look at their business, they had a lot of different revenue. They're driving new customers, new sales. As soon as we implemented the Ascension revenue, we were able to generate an extra $250,000 every single month for their business, just on this revenue pillar alone. And it took one whole month to be able to implement this. And not a lot of time will work. And that's exactly what I wanna share with you. The average increase when you implement the Ascension revenue into your business is to see an extra 100 to 250, depending on the current traffic and the volume they're doing your website. Or even if you aren't doing any traffic or volume at all on your website, this will take it to the next level. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna make sure that your business is structured in a way where the Ascension revenue actually fits in. So what I mean by this is you wanna make sure that you structure your business based on the Ascension ladder. So the Ascension ladder is how you're structuring your business in terms of the products and services that you have. When someone buys your specific business, what's the next thing that they upgrade into? What's the next thing that they downgrade into? How are you structuring your business where you tackle and you control all the parts of the market that is available to you based on price, based on time, based on the uh, resources that they have. How can you structure your business that way? That's the first core thing. So for example, if you are a digital products business, you can structure your business where you have your core course and you have software related to it at, under the price. And then at the same time you have, let's say meetings, events, or things that are higher touch points with your specific target audience that you charge a lot more for. And as your target audience starts from the bottom, you want to upgrade them to the next step. You want to get them to the next step. And that's the whole Ascension pillar. You want to be able to have that Ascension revenue, basically where your target customers and clients want to spend more money with you to get even more higher results and more value with your business. Because remember, there's always a percentage of people in your business that want to spend more money with you because they like and enjoy the results that you've been able to produce for them. Whether that's through an e-commerce product, whether that's through your SaaS business, whether that's through a simple course or whether that's through a professional services. Even for myself, we structure it based on the Ascension Ladder. The first tier that we have is we focus on preparing only a digital strategic roadmap to be able to lay out how does a business grow from one to 10 million, from 10 million to 50, or whatever goals a specific business has. And we don't do any implementation. We just give them the plan and that's our first core product or service that we have. Now the second thing that we have is we go into a three month implementation plan where we actually execute on the plan that we prepare for the business. Now some of the businesses that you can see that buy from the first one, the first service where we prepare that plan, 50% upgrade to that specific tier, which is an even higher price point. Then we have the one, what we call the preeminent diamond class, where we have specific clients where we work with them on a long-term basis as a digital strategic partner to really implement everything it takes to take their business to the next level. So we structure our business where we have three tiers and every single person that's at a second tier or the first tier can upgrade on to the very top. And the highest end one is the preeminent diamond client class. So for example, even for yourself, you can structure it in a way in which you wanna make sure that people can upgrade along the way for those that wanna spend more money with you. And at the same time, for those that can't afford your one core product or service, what are the things that you can add below it to be able to get a similar amount of specific uh, result with you, but doesn't require much of your time or resources. Think of it as three core things that you must have. Done, do it themselves, done with you, and do it for them. Those are the three things that you wanna have. There's always these three specific audiences with your target audience that want these three things. So you wanna focus on building your business and product around that, so it gives you scale at a specific level as well. And you can also at the same time upgrade people and skyrocket your business. The second core strategy to be able to increase your Ascension revenue is having three core things, two upsells and one downsell. You wanna make sure that especially if you're e-commerce business or even if you're transacting online, you're allowing your customers and your clients to be able to buy your products or your services online, you wanna be able to add these three things. The first thing is you wanna add an upsell. So for example, you want something that's gonna help your target audience achieve the results that they want sooner, 
or solve the problems even faster. Second thing is that you want to have make sure that the product that you upsell is 50 to 100 percent more the first upsell that they take. The second one is something that's cross related to that product and it can also be 50 to 100 percent more than upsell one and also the core product that they just bought. And for those that don't take any of the upsells, you want to position the third one, which is 50 percent less than what they bought as your core product. So as a reference example, one of the things that we did for a fitness company online, that's an e-commerce model to be able to generate more revenue, is we focus on when some, whenever someone bought a supplement or they bought a meal plan, we focus on upselling them into something that is an expanded version, a complete bundle that they can get of what they just bought, along with all the different things. They can get supplements, they can get blender bottles, they can get workout plans, they can get the full course, they can get the mobile app, and they can spend 50 to 100% more of what they just paid for as the upsell number one. The second thing, if they did take that upsell, we upsell them even more, and we focus on sharing with you, hey, you want personal coaching, you want personal training over the phone, virtual things to make sure that you meet your goals, then you can get this even more. So it's a higher touch point, it was position as 50 100% more than upsell one or upsell two. Now for those that didn't take both upsells, we downsold them into something that was just a complimentary specific accessory like a blender bottle or a wrist magnet or a wrist weight, whatever it was, specifically based on what they bought. And it was something that was a no brainer, you know, it's just a small specific downsell that was 50 to 100% less than their core product that they purchased. And then, you know, when we implement these three things for that fitness company and every single person I was buying before, an average order of value was about $150. When we implemented these three things, which took a few weeks to put in place with the developers and everything, we were able to skyrocket the average order value up to $250. So $100 more per a person. Can you imagine what that would do for your business? $100 every single transaction that went through. The third core most important part of this to make sure your central revenue is implemented is you want to be able to indoctrinate your target audience to show them what happens when they upgrade and when they ascend in your business. When they buy more products and services that are higher end, what does that experience look like? What does the results look like? How fast and how much sooner can they get the results? How, how much more time will they save? How much more money can they save as well when they actually spend more money with you? So that's what you wanna program them using your emails, using your messenger sequences, using the text messages. You wanna make sure that on the communication channels, as soon as they become a customer, or even before, you wanna show them actual video testimonials and test, written testimonials of specific customers that share with your audience why they upgraded, why they bought more products and services from you, why they're such a very loyal, specific customer to you. And when they bought more, they got a lot more out of the specific product or service. You wanna be able to position and show that to your target audience so that they are programmed to be able to understand that when they buy more from you, they'll get a lot more. So that's the third most important thing that you wanna to do to increase your central revenue. Hey YouTube community, thanks for watching that video. I hope you're liking this new short format. I want you to comment below and let me know what's one insight that you got and how you're gonna implement Ascension revenue into your business. Now as promised, there's gonna be a full expanded post on the bensonsun.com digital marketing universe and how you can actually implement this step-by-step -step walkthrough to walk you through the whole thing that you or your team can implement. Now two things I want you to do is I want you to like this video and let me know that you got value from this. The third thing is make sure you subscribe to this video and hit that bell icon right there so you get future updates on videos just like this dedicated to helping you grow your business online from real world principles that apply to multiple different businesses and multiple different industries. So thanks for watching this. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.